Hi everyone. Today I was uh, going to keep working on the coils, but uh, we had a bit of snow. That uh, bump there, that's, that's my car. <laughs> so, got a, quite a bit of shoveling to do. That other bump there, that's my minivan. So, got to dig out the cars. Be back later. All right, this is uh, today's update. Uh, I'll go this uh, fairly quickly. It's not going to be a 10 minute ordeal. Uh, I wind, uh, winded my own uh, coil and uh, that's copper wire that I had from uh, an ignition coil, I believe. And um, it's only one layer. So it starts from up here and works all the way down. That's about a 19 gauge, I would guess. And um, it's attached to the circuit in the same way with a uh, capacitor in series. And um, the voltage that I've set is 20, about, well, once I plug it, it'll drop down in voltage. So I'll connect it. Oh yeah, also I put a, uh, this is a small flashlight bulb. It's for like a uh, uh, four uh, C cell or four D cell battery. So that's about six volt. And I'm using that as a reference to see how much current it's drawing out. That light bulb will light, but not the full brightness. So there's that light bulb lit there. Uh, I'd say that's about half brightness uh, of, of that light bulb. So the voltage really going to the circuit is about 18, 19 volts. And uh, I have these two uh, CFLs here that are attached in uh, series. And this is the earth ground right here. And these CFLs here are maybe about uh, half uh, of full intensity. And um, <clears throat> I've got some interesting things happening with this coil. For instance, here's my uh, neon bulb. And if I bring the neon bulb close to the coil, uh, the bulb uh, lights up. See? No wires attached. So this coil is performing uh, better uh, than uh, the, other, uh, the other coil. Um, the other thing here, here I've got my uh, fluorescent bulb here and if I just bring it, it lights up. So basically wires, no wires attached. Um, now what's happening though is as see if I, when I raise the bulb up, you know, see, see the brightness goes away. And see if I bring it down, it becomes brighter. So what's happening here is at the beginning of the coil, if I put my bulb, my neon bulb here at the beginning of the coil, it doesn't it doesn't even light if I put the, the lead on it, even if I put my wire, my finger on it. There is no radiant energy at the beginning of the coil, which is the upper part here starting. And then it's just one layer working its way down. And then uh, this wire is just coming back up here. And, but if I put my bulb here on this wire, it lights up right away. I mean, I don't even need it on the wire. I'm just touching the plastic here of the neon and it lights up. So all the radiant energy is in this line here. If I put my uh, bulb here anywhere close to this wire here, uh, it, it lights up pretty close to full as well. So there's tons of uh, radiant energy on this uh, line here, which is uh, on the capacitor side there. And that's where I'm taking the feed out of the... But if I put it on the entry line there, there's there's nothing, absolutely nothing. Only on this, so it's just from this one to this one, it lights up. See, that's going right on the insulator there of, the, uh, of that uh, alligator clip, and it lights up. I mean, there's no contact needed. Uh, I mean, it's, it's lit now, it's not even touching. See, it's further away. And this demonstrates very well you know, the intensity just builds up as the coil gets longer, you know. So uh, I think that's an important part to, uh, to make the coil, uh, you know, just one layer 
and just keep going further and further. If I would have had more a bigger spool and more wire, I could have probably had a better effect. Um, but anyways, I just thought I'd post that and uh, show you uh, what uh, what it's doing. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, I almost forgot um, with this coil is since it's a very short distance. I don't know if it has that has anything to do with it, but for the first time, uh, my transistors here, my MOSFETs are are well, it's not that hot, but they're they're warmer. And these two diodes here on my circuit, which is the part of the uh, the uh, logic, are much hotter. But what's really hot is the uh, capacitor right there. Uh, that capacitor there has some kind of a wax uh, coating on it. And that wax coating just melts. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of shiny. Anyways, um, I'll take a temperature reading here with my uh, my infrared. Yeah, see there. That's uh, about 175 degrees there. We saw. I have a problem with this thing. Uh, there we go. So, anyways, that uh, that capacitor is getting hot and I'm not too sure why it's only happening with this uh, low uh, wind uh, coil here uh, there's not that many turns compared to the uh, the other coils that I was you know using like something like this here that has a lot more winds plus this coil here it just you know it just winds and then comes back over itself and winds back comes back over itself which is not, uh, I don't think, an ideal situation for a coil uh, if we want to use the radiant energy. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Um, but I guess the more testing, uh, more tests will determine that. Maybe I'll wind a pancake coil and, and try that out. Anyways, thanks. Bye.